In your back to school registration, you probably read, maybe even signed, a photo release form about schools posting images of your child onto social media sites. But the I team discovered a big difference this year. Those images that teachers may post, they're now coming from inside your home, maybe even from inside your child's bedroom. And as I team reporter Ginger Allen explains, they often include your child's name on his or her face for anyone to see. Julie Rado is a mother of two. She's comforted knowing schools have spent years tightening up security to keep danger away from our children. It is really hard to get into schools these days. But now her boys are home. Henry does fifth grade in his bedroom, and George does third grade at the dining room table. But in a virtual world, you, I mean, everyone's right there. The question is who is there? The I team first dug into this after a concerned parent emailed us saying top administrators publicly post images to social media of sleepy kindergartners in their bedrooms, along with their full name, school, and the web address to their virtual classrooms. You're a privacy expert, but you're also a parent. How dangerous is this? It could be dangerous. Dr. Marat Kantarjo Lu is a privacy professor at UT Dallas. We showed him the images many of us are seeing all over. I can see the teachers, uh, schools, and their names. From there, I can check the websites and figure out what they're teaching and which classes they're teaching. In some cases, I don't look at the students' surnames and sometimes their parents' emails. And using public records, he says a savvy stranger could learn more. I don't see any benefit of sharing this information, so why take the risk? The I team reached out to 14 of the largest North Texas school districts to find out what you've agreed can be released about your child. 11 responded. They all said parents sign a photo and or directory information release form. But we learned what you sign varies a lot from district to district. You need to know directory information may include your child's address, date and place of birth, activities, even his height and weight. Some districts policies state they can disclose all this with your permission. Others say they cannot share a photo if the student's grade or course is on it. Some say teachers cannot share on personal sites at all. Other districts say they only publish on school sites. Two districts require a teacher to get written permission from a supervisor before posting anything, while another gives parents two options, to release photos strictly for school purposes or to third-party vendors not affiliated with the school. Despite the policies, insiders say the old regulations are nowhere near catching up with the new reality. Because all of this is so new, we are making up the rules as we go along. Stephen Balcom is the founder of the Family Online Safety Institute, which works with lawmakers to protect children online. Teachers and school districts and principals and parents must be acutely aware of how their children's images are being used. Perhaps in the background, uh, there's a picture of their house, or there's the name of their street, or the ballet class that they go to uh, at four o'clock. Balcom says now is the time to start thinking about the locked doors, barriers, and vestibules of the virtual world. I want to do what I can do to make our family the safest uh, possible from any hackers or crazy people out there. And we can help with that. First of all, make sure your child has a generic background. You can use a fake virtual one like this, or make sure the wall behind you is blank and has nothing identifiable on it. You can also turn your camera completely off if the teacher will allow it. And if your name or email address is on the screen, then make sure you change that to your first name or a nickname. And finally, review your school's policy and know what you signed. And if you believe it's not being applied, then ask questions. I'm Ginger Allen, CBS 11 News. A lot of information to digest there. Folks, we know you might have questions for Ginger and for the I-Team. You can send them your questions or any news tips for them to, uh, to the investigative team, I-Team at KTVT.com. They'd love to hear from you.